My little ones, Arthur and Audrey, at the age of six and four, have already been to six countries in three different continents and have been on countless road trips with us. So it's safe to say that I are quite well traveled. Having traveled with them so much, I have started to master the art of packing for them. And yes, they have their own suitcase. And here are a few um, useful items and tricks when packing for your pets. So one of my favorite items is this uh, collapsible food bowl. Um, it's a food and water bowl. I use it just as a food bowl because I've got two, so they each have their food side. And essentially the feet just collapses and locks in. And as you see, the bowl also collapses make it completely flat packed, which is great for packing and saving space. Uh, and then I have this water bowl um, separately because they use the food bowl, but also I find this practical uh, when we're just going on a long drive or if we're going on a bike ride, because then I just use it for, for water if they need some water. So I'd always bring a water bottle with me and I can give them some water and it's much easier. And, it fits anywhere because it gets so small, a bit smaller than the food one. Now, other thing I bring is a good trick of mine is, um, you know, those uh, cereal Tupperware. This is actually made from Rubbermaid for cereals. To, you just use that for your dog food so you don't bring too much. But you bring what you need in here and then you just need to, and then you don't have that big bag and, and it also keeps it nice and fresh. And um, I actually find it seals really good. So when I put it in the suitcase, it never opens up on its own. So a really good one. And of course, for treats, I usually use a Tupperware or um, a Ziploc type bag to keep them nice and fresh and handy around and don't have too much. Now, the other thing is I have usually a uh, collapsible kennel. So one of those nice big uh, metal kennel for inside the hotel room. So if we go out for a nice dinner we can't bring dogs with us we just leave them in the kennel um for a couple of hours while we're gone the other thing we do bring is our little ones at night they sometimes go to the loo and we don't always wake up when they do so what we do bring is one of those puppy loos um usually get that at uh, one of those uh, cheap stores like a reject shop in australia or poundland or something like that um just for about 10 bucks it's meant for puppies but it's quite useful when traveling. I just put it um, on the floor in the bathroom where it's tiles and not carpet. And then I just rinse it out in the shower. And I usually always have a separate um, box for it so that like, if I have it in the car, it doesn't smell everywhere. When I come home, I just remove it, wash the box, rewash the loo properly and air it so it stays nice and clean. Um, so it's a good thing to have with you uh, and then of course sometimes your pet will still have accidents here and there so I always bring a uh, pet stain and odor removal spray um, with of course some paper towels maybe not that many I'll probably just um, put in a couple in a ziploc bag or something so it doesn't take too much space so always good to have with you when traveling um, and of course really important a um, first aid kit now, if you have, if you wonder about what to put in your pet first aid kit, what should have in it, you can just watch my uh, video about uh, first aid kit and you can find it um, on the link right up here. And also, um, when traveling, your pets often, they end up in mud. Um, so I really like these pet um, travel wipes. These are the travel size. At home I have the big one, but you want just a smaller size to travel with. So if they get muddy, you can really clean their pets nicely. They're a bit like those wet wipes for hands, but wet wipes for dogs essentially. And just um, a little towel here as well. Uh, if they get wet from the rain or something to dry them. So I always have that, especially in the car as well. I keep it in the car. Um, so other thing is I have found this awesome. It's a collapsible tent. I found it in Australia. I think it was like 30 bucks at like the pet pet store, pet, pets, best friends, best friends, pets, I think. Um, 
And it's great because it's like a replacement kennel. So if your dog is going to stay outside and you want it to have protection from rain and wind, then you just pop it out and it's got uh, little hooks to keep it in the ground and it will protect your dog and it doesn't take a lot of space. Of course, if you're going to have your dog outside, you may want it restrained. And so, of course, a corkscrew ground thick is always good to have. So you can leave it outside and give it a bit of space and make sure it doesn't go anywhere it doesn't need to. Um, of course, you'll need toys. Make sure you choose the ones that you don't and they don't mind losing. Um, a bed, a blanket, of course, are also important. Um, just a trick for the bed. If you're driving and have a car seat for them, they can double as a bed. So you just unhook them from the car and place it where you need it. Uh, and talking about um, pet car seats, uh, you can see just a video right here again um, that I did about the one that we do have, um, which really, really enjoy and does a great job as a, a bed actually as well. Um, so if your pets are traveling separately from you, I do suggest you leave with them a piece of clothing, just an old one um, with your smell. Um, this will help soothe your pets during a uh, stressful travel. Um, especially, for example, if they're traveling by plane, when we did that with our dogs, um, we wore um, old socks and t-shirts for a couple days um, or at night time in the evening just to get our smells in before and just put it in their kennel. It just helped make the travel just a little bit better. It was still stressful. Um, for those who have pets that are nervous or car sick um, there are tablets you can give them just ask your vet um, so I'm not an expert but I have seen them so just check, check out with your vet you can get some of those um, obviously don't forget their leads and collar I also recommend to bring so a light up collar for those unexpected walks now I prefer the collars to these um, safety flashers and the reason is, if I'm going to the park, I usually let my pets loose, my dogs loose, so they can have a bit of a run. And if it's nighttime, they have this on. The minute they have their backs on me, I don't see it. You can't see that because with the collar, it'll go straight to their front. Um, as for this one, it lights up all around their neck. Um, you probably can't see, it's got a few flashing and lights but I can see it no matter where they're facing and I don't use this as an actual collar it's a bit too big for them but it's great for me to know where they are um, and for doggies like mine that feel the cold easily I always bring a raincoat and a jacket for cold or rainy days so of course you gotta think of those things thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please subscribe for future videos with tips on traveling with pets.